A verdict has been reached in the penalty face of Saifulo Saipov. The jury was unable to reach a unanimous verdict. The 35-year-old will be sentenced to life in prison without release. He was convicted in January of killing eight people and injuring a dozen others on the West Side bike path in 2017. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has been covering the trial since it started. She joins us live outside federal court in Lower Manhattan. Alice. Dana, the jury of nine men and three women did not want to talk about the verdict outside of the courthouse. They deliberated for a total of about nine hours. Now, on this verdict sheet, which is about 17 pages long, they indicated that they were not unanimous about whether or not Saipov was likely to commit criminal acts of violence in prison in the future. Seven of the 12 jurors also indicated on here that they felt life in prison without release was a better punishment. On Halloween 2017, Saifulo Saipov drove a rental truck onto the West Side bike path, killing eight bicyclists, five friends from Argentina, a mother of two from Belgium, a 23-year-old New York City man, and a 32-year-old from New Jersey. Saipov told the FBI he intended to continue onto the Brooklyn Bridge, but crashed into a school bus, got out and ran waving around fake guns, and was shot by an NYPD officer. He asked to fly the ISIS flag in his hospital room. A dozen people were injured, including a a woman who had to have both legs amputated. The jury of nine men and three women convicted him in January of murder in support of terror organization ISIS during the liability phase. During the penalty phase, they saw photos of the bodies of the eight victims, some on the bike path. They heard from family of the victims testifying about the impact of their loved one's loss on their own lives. Survivors spoke about their injuries, recurring fears, some who struggled to find the will to keep going. The court also heard from Saipov's family, flown in from Uzbekistan with special permission to testify as the defense argued for life in prison without release, trying to show he had a tight-knit family and a normal life before he began consuming ISIS propaganda when he moved to the United States. His wife and three young children who live in the U.S. were not in the courtroom. During deliberations, the jury followed along with instructions, a checklist guiding them on what the prosecution had to prove for the death penalty. Things like, did the defendant commit his attack after substantial planning and premeditation, and did he kill or attempt to kill more than one person in a single criminal episode? In the end, though, it was a moral decision up to each juror. I think it's the verdict that is most, uh, most relation with, uh, with what we uh, have to go through. Uh, we survivors and victims and families of deceased. Um, we're also life sentence. We, we, you know, our injuries, our losses will not come back. That was injured survivor Aristide Melissas from Belgium. His wife is the one who had to have both legs amputated among a long list of injuries. Saipov will be formally sentenced at a later date. He says his family plans to be here for that. Live outside of federal court in Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.